Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1. I, 27 female, am from China. I have come to share my story. To start with my mom's background. She was raised in China with parents who believed in heavy boy light girl, sexist for short. Her parents doted on my uncle a lot and were extremely harsh on her. They spanked her so hard that her scars are visible even now. They were against her relationship with my dad, too western for their taste. But my mom and dad managed to elope halfway across the globe and had me. Now, isn't that a happy ending? Nope. Years later, mom got contacted by her family. They apologized for their actions and hoped to reconcile. She was happy about it and we started making trips to her hometown in addition to my dad's home too. Once every two to four years or so. During our trips, I noticed the difference. While my dad's parents were always concerned about our well-being and gave us red packets, which is money, usually given as a gesture of respect for elders or blessings for children. Mom's family was always talking about my uncle and cousin. My mom had to give red packets to every member of her relatives. I could not help thinking they only wanted to reconcile because they wanted money. Fast forward, I'm still living with my parents, but I pay rent. I overheard my mom's voice call with her mom. Her mom asked her to arrange for my cousin, 17 male, to move to our place to study, pay for his expenses and to have him move in with us. When she told them that we don't have that much money nor spare room, she told her to make me move out and to chip in since I'm working. When my mother tried to argue, she screamed at her on the phone, telling her how unfilial she had been for not giving anything back to her parents and now she would abandon her nephew. My mom, being a softie, was close to tears. I couldn't stand it anymore. I snatched the phone from her and said, Listen up, Bish. My mother's life is hers and so is mine. What gave you the impression we can throw away our lives for you? Why don't you ask your son to pay instead? Is he doing so bad that he couldn't afford to support his son? Oh, poor thing, suck it up and get out of our lives. My mother was upset about how I ruined their relationship. I guess deep down she still craved her parents' love. But they just seem abusive and I hate that they made her cry. Am I the a-hole? Edit The Chinese forum equivalent of you are the a-hole is more or less as follows. Not my call to make. Their elders and my attitude reflects my upbringing for them to dislike my family more. They still did give birth to my mother. And without my mother, they wouldn't be me. I should have let my father handle this, not me. A child does not interfere with parents' business. OP Standing up for your mother was the right decision. I believe she will realize this very soon. Respect is a two-way street. That is why I believe your decision is correct. You have the right to strike back if they treat you like a second-class citizen. In your life, you don't need false individuals. Even if it sounds harsh, you would be just fine. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. You are a wonderful daughter for sticking up for your mom. I hope she isn't so ingrained with tradition that she feels the need to apologize. Your family is better off cutting ties with them. I'm third-generation Japanese-Canadian, senior, married to a third-generation Chinese-Canadian, and I've seen the ridiculous preferential treatment given to first-born boys. I've heard all the crazy stories your mom is being used by them. Make sure she realizes this. Not the a-hole. Filial piety is such a great way to control your kids and manipulate them to do your bidding. What frustrates me the most is how they say I fed you, I washed you, I clothed you. Like good job on doing something a parent should be doing in the first place. Respect goes deeper than that and it freaking sucks how in Asian culture we're just supposed to Respect our elders, even if they demean or hurt us. It's sad that your mum is still stuck in the fog, but at least you can see the situation with clarity. At the end of the day, I'd rather have no family than a family of leeches. Not the a-hole. You ripped the band-aid off and the initial pain is shocking for everyone, your mother included. What you could do moving forward is to give your mother encouragement and support to stand up to them on her own. It will empower her and ultimately make it easier to deal with them. Otherwise, they'll keep coming at her in different ways and pressure her to keep it secret from you. Story 2 My husband, 27 male, and I, 27 female, 
have been married for two years, together for seven. I moved to his home state after we got married. All of his family is here, but all of mine are not. We have a two-month-old son. During my pregnancy, I had my parents and his parents get their vaccination to protect against whooping cough since they were going to be holding the baby. As per my OB's instructions, everyone obliged. We live in California where there are many cases. We asked his sisters, he has five, and brothers, he has two. If they wouldn't mind getting theirs, we made it clear that we would not hold a grudge if they didn't want to get theirs, and they all refused. That's fine. We told them that we are going to limit contact until he gets all of his vaccinations. They are more than welcome to come over as long as they aren't sick, but holding him will be off limits until he gets his vaccinations. They were fine with this. So, I have the baby and everyone comes to see him. The issue of holding him wasn't brought up. Everything was fine. Until last month, I got texts from all of his sisters asking when they can bring their kids over to play. I nicely crafted a text message saying that he's not going to be fully vaccinated until six months. Once that happens, they can hold him and bring their children over, but not before then. Well, I got reamed. They are very upset with me. I spoke with my husband, and he told me that he wants nothing to do with this. This is our mutual decision. He agreed, but refuses to talk to them with me. Last night, they all came over with their children at 10 p.m. and pounded on the front door. I let them in, and they started arguing with me about it. I told them, no, we are not changing our minds, and our baby is in bed, so go home. They left extremely angrily. My husband got a phone call from his mother this morning, saying she is upset we're not getting along and her grandbabies can't be together. I'm not trying to cause a vax-anti-vax -vax debate here. What you decide for your child is your decision, and I do not judge them. However, whooping cough is real. That was the one vaccination I told them I'm not budging on. All of their children are unvaxxed and go to school coming home sick quite regularly like most children do. Kids catch things. It's just how it goes. I know I will not be able to protect my son from everything, but he's only two months old. I do not want him playing with their kids until he's vaxxed, period. My husband agrees. He just doesn't want the drama. I feel like I'm caught in the middle and I don't know how to handle this. I don't want his parents mad at me. I love them very much, but I'm not bending on my decision. Any advice? Is there a compromise here? I feel my husband needs to talk to them, but he refuses. Update 1. A few hours after I posted that, I decided to approach my husband. To be honest, I was expecting a fight. I did agree with a lot of comments stating how my husband should back me up and it was crap that he wasn't. That night, I told him how I felt. This was his family, and I don't understand why he wouldn't back me up. What he told me was unexpected. He explained that his brother's wife was outcasted by his sisters years ago. I didn't know this. I knew they weren't extremely close, but they get along on holidays. His wife only shows up on holidays as her family lives in another country. Honestly, I thought they had a good relationship with her like they do with me, but apparently not. He said years ago, his sisters took everyone out for a family dinner, but I wasn't invited. Though we were still dating, so I wasn't offended by this. However, his brother's wife was also not invited and felt extremely insulted. Because she wasn't invited, his brother fought with his sisters and he didn't go. My husband said at dinner, his sisters shit-talked her all night. They said she took their brother away and she will no longer be part of the family according to them. They told my husband, if you ever let your girlfriend control you around, the same goes for her. My husband blew this off and we never had any issues. He ignored them until the night they came knocking at our door. He felt that if he were to go downstairs and stand up for me, for us, I would be outcasted by them also, and didn't want me to deal with the shit that his brother's wife goes through, my sister-in-law. I told him that I don't care if I'm outcasted anymore. He said he doesn't care at this point either, but wanted to leave it up to me after I got the full story. He knew going to confront them was going to bring a shitstorm on me. They are bullies. Me confronting them by myself, even though it wasn't my choice, tells them that I don't have their brother whipped. That's what this is about. 
Yesterday morning, I had his parents over for breakfast and told them everything. I'll admit I cried. It's really hard to argue with many people in his family. I showed them the text they sent me about coming over. His parents told me not to respond to anything and that they're taking care of it. I'm not sure what this means, but I'm just not going to respond to anything. It's upsetting to me. But as long as his parents understand where I'm coming from, which they do, then I'm fine, even if his sisters don't think I'm good enough. Update 2 I wanted to quickly update as it's early in the morning and I'm livid. I called my sister-in-law last night, the one who was outcasted. I was candid with her. I told her why I was calling and what happened, etc. She asked if she could come over and I obliged. I don't want to go into absolutely everything she told me, but it was much, much worse than I thought. They were so terrible to her. I'm actually in shock. I knew they weren't the sweetest, but I found them to be very kind to me when we first got married. I just can't believe all the shit they do and say and get away with. My sister-in-law is not child-free like they have told me. She is infertile. I cried when she told me that. On top of that, she said she was hurt that I didn't invite her over to hold my son. She said she got her vaccines so she could see my son. I didn't know this. I am so freaking pissed. I cannot believe them. After she left, I called my husband and told him we need to talk. He came home and I told him everything angrily. He called his brother and apologized. I deleted every one of them on Facebook and blocked their phone numbers on my cell phone. My husband did the same. We are completely cutting them out of our lives. One of them noticed I deleted them so far. She called the house and my husband picked it up. We don't have caller ID, which we will be getting today. I took the phone from him and told her to kiss my freaking ass. The only thing I'm upset about with all of this is their children. I do love them. As for my sister-in-law, I hope she can learn to trust me so we can become a real family. Starting next week, she's going to watch my son once in a while so my husband and I can go out and reconnect as our communication has been lacking. Thank you for all your advice and support. OP, be glad you discovered your husband's sister's actual personality and replaced the scumbag's sister-in-law with a wonderful woman. Those witchy sisters will never change, so keep them out of your life forever. I'm glad your brother-in-law's wife has finally been vindicated. She has most likely gone through hell. I hope she finds some comfort in your presence.